But I was sitting, for instance, with a colleague of mine the other day at dinner, and he was talking about the sundry religions that had come his way, knocking on his front door and offering their goods. And when opportunity arose, I said to him, but my good man, you have noticed, I expect, haven't you, that there is one difference between true Christianity and all other religions. Well, he hadn't, so I had to tell him. And it is this, that religion says, says it in many different ways and in many different forms, but it amounts to the same thing. Religion says, work out your salvation. Discipline yourself. Do this, do that, do this other. And by doing it at length, perhaps, you will arrive at your goal. Religion is a matter of doing. But I said you will notice that when you come to Christ, he offers you salvation as a free gift. And therein is the great difference. The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life. You may tell the difference between true Christianity and religion. In that simple matter, religion is do, earn, merit, achieve. Christ says, come and receive. A gift. Well, of course, my colleague immediately took me up. But he said, that can't be, surely. Because if salvation is a gift, you see, you would go out and do you please, wouldn't you, if you didn't have to earn salvation? Of course, it's understandable that people that are not saved should talk like that, is it not? But it isn't true. Because when we do believe God, and like Abraham enter into a personal relationship with God, there begins a something new. The believer is required to walk before God now. No time off. No holidays from this holy occupation. But constantly and ever walking before God. In living fellowship with God. And the believer who knows himself accepted with God will find that God holds out before him this goal, walk before me, and be thou perfect. Now please notice which way round it is. God didn't say to Abram, Abram, I want you to try and walk perfect before me, and if you succeed in the end, I will receive you. No, he had it the other way round. Abram, I have received you. Therefore walk before me and be perfect. And there are those two pieces, but they come in that order. It is important then at the outset this evening that we get those two pieces. There are two pieces. Receiving salvation as a gift does not mean that we are then free to go and live as we please. Because receiving salvation is entering a relationship with God. And it's a relationship that is meant to be active every moment thereafter.